प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल थैंक यू हाई फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू फ्री ऑनलाइन टेक वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट डेट कमांड डी ए टी कमांड सो विच इज मोस्ट यूजफुल एंड यू कैन यूज मोस्ट ऑफ द डेट कमांड इज इन स्क्रिप्टिंग एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज ए Uh, this date command to be very very useful in the uh, regular timings and most of the administrator they use a regular the uh, at least one time in the their regular tasks in their regular tasks okay so date command is used to display the time uh, display the time different different time formats and it's also used to convert the changes like the date changes time changes and how much this time is left or you can also do that calculations using the date command on the scripting level okay so basically if you type date it provides the full date currently which is uh, friday april 6 okay and ist timings 2018 okay like this is going to be used and if you want the universal timing you can use simply a one date iphone u which is utc time zone time okay so universal time currently what is the time yes okay like this if you want to use a display strings okay like uh, now or tomorrow yesterday today kind of stuff you can also use iphone d and let's say now which is also equal to the date command there's no change in that but if you use uh, yesterday Yesterday, what is the date and time? Exactly this time, it shows that difference here. Yeah. So is today is April six, but it shows April five is my yesterday time. Likewise, we can use the letter string to display the time yesterday, is evening, today, tomorrow, like that. Okay, so it's going to be give that string details using the iPhone D. Okay, if you'd like to display some time zone details. like suppose um, i would like to say what is this time zone what is the time now you can also use uh, uh, to list up that time date ctl iphone iphone um, list the time zones first okay how many time zones are there if you already know that you know need to do this one okay Be because uh, i know little i would like to take some from here so maybe i would like to take some africa timing right now so this is the time i'm going to take it so date you can use uh, iphone iphone date is the command and uh, specify the time zone followed by the equal to here and uh, tz time zone and provide the time zone within the quotations here so which is going to display the time now is the difference what is the difference here so here there is a 556 is the time in ist but uh, in african if you convert into the ist time zone okay that is the there is a one 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 hour difference here like that if you want, would like to do an a los angeles time difference okay maybe in america los angeles okay i would like to do that america slash los angeles okay what is the time now so it's a 12 ist okay so what is the difference now it's a 6 okay now here it is a 5 there is an a 12 o'clock 12 30 like that so like this you can display a time zone difference if you do some scripting language if you want to do a um, what is that if you want to do convert some um, time zone differences without uh, in the scripting languages you can utilize this uh, date command to convert that um, time zone differences you can also pass the direct variable tz and uh, the values here so what is the time zone you would like to say example uh, this time zone i would like to take here okay then pass this to date command so it will also provide in the same output there's no change example date output if you would like to see on the iso 8601 format you can simply use um, date capital i 
and provides the values within the hours if you want or within the minutes you want okay or if you want in seconds okay it will provide you so this format is iso 8601 format okay and if you want to do a rfc 2822 format also you can also do date iphone mean capital r which is going to be shown that information here example when the data date data of the file has been modified or when the file is last modified you can also check it up using the date command using the date hyphen r command and provide that file link here and which will show you this when the file has last been modified so you can also see a uh, file command which is the same in uh, give the output as like that sorry maybe file stats file stat and uh, which is going to be give the same sorry start with the command which is going to give the same see here modified date is this one it is also shown the same one like this so we can use that to verify the modified date of the file date even r is the command and got the file name so there is a one more thing is called as an epoch time epoch time so this epoch time is considered from 1970 UTC time to now it calculates is seconds how many seconds got completed from 1970 01 January 1st okay January 1st and the values from 00 00 00 UTC time zone how many seconds is going to be complete from now it's from up from 1972 to now it's going to be displayed here so you can just see that percentage as we're going to see show you that timing so this is the epoch time you say that what is this timing here you cannot understand right so if you want to do the same as in a human readability human readable format you can simply use date iphone d at the rate epoch time which will convert into the human readable time okay if you want to convert the same from this date to the epoch time you can also do that date followed by the place sign okay so just follow here quotation percentage s okay and uh, iphone d and provide this date and uh, here so example say that 0604 2018 and time may be around 6 o'clock okay 6 o'clock 45 seconds which is going to be converted into the epoch time zone like this it's going to be converted here okay if you exactly give the above values like uh, I don't know exactly that value 600 right 54 seconds so the same value will come here if you give the exact date and time okay so which may be here is the four and six see this you can see that matching value here so that is the time conversation from the epoch time to the normal time and normal time to epoch time you can convert here okay you can also do something like um, uh, you can convert this some of the you can paste the data into the file you can verify that whether the date is correct or not example like I given like this okay and uh, save the file here and you can simply say date I can I can file and draw the file name here the file name is file and enter here so it is going to be validate that time you can see that the value is different right so, so the value is converted here see the value here converted actually i did not given this one i given different value here see what is the value i given here this is the value here given but i missed something the 2018 something that said missed it so it calculated the value is 0201 so 
the value format is going to be given and like that you can pass that uh, date command date format in the file and uh, pass that file uh, option it will validate the date okay so now i have some script here so which actually calculate the epoch time within the seconds how many seconds seconds has completed something like that yeah, so in this i just predefined the time as a two seconds okay then if the variation would be two seconds is going to become different difference is two seconds so if you change the value of that the sleeping value to something like uh, five then uh, it's going to give you the five value here what happens it sleep for five seconds and verify that start time and end time the start time is here epoch time and end time is here epoch time so the both the values has been minus and the difference is five seconds like this you can use this date command to develop your own scripts you can do much much more things on this date command so that's about the date command thanks for watching stay tuned please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask